coming to question 3. A at the rate B means A is greater than B. A and B means A is equal to B. A hash B means A is less than B. And A into B means A is either greater than B or equal to B. Now in the following question, assuming the statements to be true, which of the two conclusions 1 and 2 are definitely true? Now this is an example of symbol based comparisons. These kind of questions have recently been introduced in the MBA entrance exams. Now if you see, you are given certain statements and you have to believe that they are true. Now which of the two conclusions? Now statement is given and two conclusions are given. You have to tell which conclusion is definitely true. So now let's solve it. Now the question which is given is this one. So now we'll solve this. It's V hash Y at the rate Z. Okay. So now we'll see what does V hash Y means. A hash B means A is less than B. So V is less than Y. So that means Y is greater than V. Okay. Now second one is. This is for V hash Y. Okay. Now we will see for Y at the rate Z. Now what, what does this mean? A at the rate mean, B means A is greater than B. So Y is greater than Z. Okay. Fine. Now the conclusion is V and Z means A, V is equal to Z. Is it true? No. V is not equal to Z. We cannot say from the above statement. Correct? Second one is Y is the greatest. Now regarding the first statement, we cannot say whether it is definitely true since V is less than Y and Z is also less than Y but we don't know whether V and Z are equal to each other. Correct? So, the second statement says y is the greatest. Yes, the second statement is true. Why? If you see y is greater than v and y is greater than z. And here three elements are present v, y and z. So if y is greater than both v and z, so that means y is the greatest. So statement 2 is definitely true. Right? So this is our answer. Okay? So, independent questions like this or caselet based questions are asked in simple kind of comparisons. Okay? Mm -hmm.